Number one, what is the unit of energy? Letter A, meter. Letter B, newton. Letter C, kilogram. Or letter D, joule. The correct answer is letter D, joule. The unit joule is named in honor of the English physicist James Prescott Joule. Number 2. What is kinetic energy? Letter A, the energy that is created by water. Letter B, the energy that is released from an object. Letter C, the energy that an object possesses due to its motion. Or letter D, the energy that an object gains from some outer source. The correct answer is letter C. Kinetic energy is the energy that an object possesses due to its motion. When an object is in motion, it has the ability to do work and transfer energy to other objects or systems. Number 3. Which is the best example that something has kinetic energy? Letter A. A car parked on a steep hill. Letter B. A picture hanging on the wall. Letter C. A piece of coal before it's burned. Or letter D, a tennis ball rolling across the court. The correct answer is a letter D. Kinetic energy is the energy due to object's motion. Since the tennis ball is moving, then it has kinetic energy. Number 4. As a spring is stretched, its elastic potential energy, letter A, increases, letter B, decreases, or letter C, remains the same. When a spring is stretched, its elastic potential energy increases. The potential energy is stored in the spring and can be released when the spring returns to its original position. Therefore, as the spring is stretched further, the amount of potential energy stored in it increases. Number 5. An object that has kinetic energy must Letter A. Be at rest Letter B, have weight. Letter C, be in motion. Or letter D, have zero speed. The correct answer is letter C. An object that has kinetic energy must be in motion. Number 6. The amount of kinetic energy an object has depends on its letter A, mass and speed, letter B, mass and volume, letter C, speed and density, or letter D, volume and friction. The correct answer is letter A. Kinetic energy is dependent on the object's mass and speed. The faster an object moves, or the greater its mass, the more kinetic energy it possesses. Number 7. Which object will have the most kinetic energy? Letter A. Small object moving slowly. Letter B. Large object moving slowly. Let us see 
small object moving quickly or letter D, large object moving quickly. The correct answer is letter D, large object moving quickly. Kinetic energy is dependent on mass and speed. The greater the mass of an object and the greater its speed, the greater its kinetic energy. Number 8. Which of the following factors affect potential energy? Letter A, mass and height. Letter B, mass and velocity. Letter C, velocity and height. Or letter D, mass and acceleration. The correct answer is letter A. Potential energy is dependent on mass and height of an object above the ground. The greater the mass or height, the greater the potential energy. Number 9. At which position of the coaster car along its path has the greatest potential energy? Letter A, position A. Letter B, position B. Letter C, position C. Or letter D, potential energy is the same at any position. The correct answer is letter A. The car has gained greatest potential energy at position A. It is at the highest distance above the ground at A and thus has the greatest potential energy at this position. Number 10. When a stone 5 meters high falls towards the ground, what happens to its potential energy? Letter A increases, letter B decreases, letter C stays the same, or letter D cannot be predicted. The correct answer is letter B. As the stone falls, its height or distance above the ground decreases. Thus, its potential energy also decreases as it falls. Number 11. Which of the following quantities affect potential energy? Letter A, 30 meters per second. Letter B, 27 seconds. Letter C, 72 newtons, or letter D, 53 kilograms. The correct answer is letter D. Potential energy is dependent on two factors, mass and height. Option A, 30 meters per second is a measure of speed. Letter B, 27 seconds is a measure of time. Option C, 72 newtons is a measure of force. Whereas, option D, 53 kilograms is a measure of mass. Thus, the answer is letter D, mass. Number 12. If both of these balls are traveling down a bowling lane at the same speed, which one would have more kinetic energy? Letter A, ball A. Letter B, ball B. Or letter C, they would have the same kinetic energy. The correct answer is letter A. If ball A and B are traveling at the same speed, 
The ball with more kinetic energy would be one with greater mass. This is because kinetic energy is directly proportional to mass. Therefore, ball A would have more kinetic energy than ball B. Number 13. A girl of mass 60 kilograms can sprint at 8 meters per second. What is her kinetic energy? Letter A, 240 joules. Letter B, 860 joules. Letter C, 1920 joules. Or letter D, 3840 joules. The correct answer is letter C. How did we get 1920 joules? The given data are mass which is 60 kilograms and speed which is 8 meters per second. The problem asks for the value of kinetic energy. The equation for kinetic energy is kinetic energy equals 1 half mv squared. Now let's solve for kinetic energy. Substitute the value of mass and speed. 1 half times 60 kilograms the mass and the speed 8 meters per second close in parenthesis is squared. 1 half of 60 kilograms is 30 kilograms whereas the squared of 8 meters per second is 64 meters squared per second is squared. So 30 kilograms times 64 meters squared per second is squared is 1920 kilograms meter squared per second squared or that is also equal to 1920 joules number 14 what is the gravitational potential energy stored in a 60 kilogram boy sitting at the top of a two meter high slide Use 10 meters per second squared as the value of acceleration due to gravity. Letter A, 120 joules. Letter B, 240 joules. Letter C, 600 joules. Or letter D, 1,200 joules. The correct answer is letter D. How did we get 1,200 joules? The given data are the mass of the boy, which is 60 kilograms, and his distance above the ground, which is 2 meters. The problem asks for is gravitational potential energy. Gravitational potential energy is equal to mass times acceleration due to gravity times height. Let's substitute. Potential energy is equal to the value of mass is 60 kilograms. We will use 10 meters per second squared as the acceleration due to gravity times the height which is 2 meters. Then let's multiply. 60 times 10 times 2, the answer is 1,200 kilograms meters squared per second squared or 1,200 joules. Number 15. A 2 kilogram object has a potential energy of 580 joules. What height is the object above the ground? Use 10 meters per second squared as the value of acceleration due to gravity. Letter A, 18 meters. Letter B, 29 meters. Letter C, 58 meters. Or letter D, 120 meters. The correct answer is letter B. How did we get 29 meters? The given data are potential energy which is 580 joules and the mass which is 2 kilograms. The problem asks of the height of the object above the ground. The formula for potential energy is potential energy equals mass times acceleration due to gravity times height. We will derive the equation to get the value of h or height. Let's divide both sides of the equation by mg. 
so that potential energy over mass times acceleration due to gravity equals height. Thus, the derived equation to get the height, that is height, is equal to potential energy over mass times acceleration due to gravity. Uh, let's substitute. Height is equal to the value of potential energy, 580 joules, over 2 kilograms times 10 meters per second squared. So 580 joules over 2 kilograms times 10 meters per second squared, that is equal to 580 joules over 20 kilograms meter per second squared. Then 580 joules divided by 20 kilograms meter per second squared, that is equal to 29 joules per kilogram meter per second squared. Let's simplify the units. The unit joule can also be written as Newton meter, and the kilogram meter per second squared is also equal to Newton. So let's cancel out the unit Newton. What is left is meter. So the final answer is 29 meters.